Dozens of rabbits running loose in a Sandy Springs forest preserve have been captured. There's now a reward to help find who's dumping the would-be pets into the wild. Channel 2's Steve Gelbach was along for the roundup that captured nearly 30 rabbits. A hiker out for an evening stroll in the woods spotted rabbit after rabbit after rabbit and shot this video. Dozens roaming the Big Trees Forest Preserve on Roswell Road in Sandy Springs. I think that part needs to be checked. Volunteers with the Georgia House Rabbit Society were back this morning. The first one we caught is really dirty. After wrangling 24 last night in the dark. You see the bunny, catch the bunny. This one was hiding under an SUV in the parking lot. They're pretty quick. It was touch and go for a second. But these cute, cuddly cottontails aren't meant to be running free. They should be someone's pet. When I see a rabbit that's been dumped, I know it's not going to survive unless it gets saved. In hunting them, you do not need to be very, very quiet. In fact, these domesticated rabbits have really the fear of humans bred out of them. Also bred out of them, though, the fear of foxes, coyotes, hawks, anything that would make them lunch. This is my spare bedroom. Dresden Lackey is now fostering more than two dozen rabbits in her small home, calling this the largest case the rescue group and shelter has ever seen. The rabbits outside for days, most in bad condition, were likely left in the wooded area by a breeder or hoarder. The organization is offering a $1,000 reward to find who's responsible and prosecute them. These rabbits, they don't deserve this. I mean, no animal does. And seeing this, it's, it's heartbreaking, but we do what we can, and we can't do it without help. The Georgia House Rabbit Society needs that help now from the public and monetary donations to care for these rabbits, also space to foster some of them. Otherwise, they're going to be turned over to animal control and killed. They have put a link on their website for information at houserabbitga.com. We'll have a link at our story as well at WSBTV.com. In Sandy Springs, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.